Hi. I want to do your makeup. this new makeup I want to show you and I want to apply it on you I'm really excited to share I'm wearing it right now actually it looks good doesn't it <laughs> it's gonna look equally as great if not even Start, shall we? First, I have this foundation by Too Faced. oil-free, undetectable, medium to full coverage. It's infused with coconut water, alpine rose, hyaluronic acid, and it's totally natural, just like it says on the package, born this way. be told. I haven't worn foundation in years. It used to cause me to break out. This one's really good, I promise you. Since this is your first time using this with me, I'm only gonna put one pump of this. That's enough for you. using Elf's brushes, so I'm going to use this. Foundation brush. Over your face. So, I'm going to apply the product.
How's that? It looks really good, in my opinion. Performance Rainforest of the Sea Aqua Sealer Concealer. And you want to shake this well before using it, but don't you just admire the color of the packaging? What was that? Oh. You want me to turn the light on? It is getting a bit dark in here, I agree. Hold on, let me just go turn it on for you. How about that, huh? Yeah. It creates a nice and cozy environment for the both of us. Yeah. Thanks for the idea. <laughs> You're really sweet. was in light beige and this is in light. Uh, I find that no matter what your skin complexion is, you always want a good light concealer. I feel like it bounces off the camera flashing and everything so simple one. I want this brush to collect as much product as possible. you have, which we all honestly do. I need to use a lot of this stuff over my face. Just very lightly. Very, very lightly. Never rush with makeup. Good makeup when you put it on the face. You don't have to blend it in right away. It should be able to just sit there and soak. So now I'm going to use my clean fingertips and blend the concealer. Make sure it blends in with the foundation so it looks as natural as possible. I did a good job so far. Next, I'm going to use this bronzer. And it's by 
Hula Benefit. Yeah, I like the cute packaging. It has bamboos on it. So when you open it, there's a mirror. <laughs> and it comes with this bristle brush. I don't prefer it. If you want me to, I can use it on you. Okay, I'll use it on you. It can get a bit dusty. And it's a bit harsh of a brush. I notice some of the brush actually begins to rip off too, but I'll be as gentle. Color. It's a good color for you. And just apply it on the brush. Get as much as I can. And begin to blend it in. Perfect. There's a secret that if you have a double chin, you blend in bronzer. For this brush, it's a softer brush. It's a bronzing brush by e.l.f. And it's so much better on the skin. I tried to use this. I used that one before and I didn't like how it came out. This one blends a lot better. Next up, we have this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in ebony color.
cake it on the brush. It's a bit complex when it gets caked on, and you'll probably see why. And I just like to go in lines and follow from the tip here to make it darker. And then use less to make this part brighter. So it blends naturally and evenly. Um, we don't want a tattooed on eyebrow kind of look where it's like really noticeable in person. But it's a good thing and a bad thing because in pictures, tattooed eyebrows look really great, but in person, you can kind of tell. works for any brow, of course. I'm a firm believer in the eyebrows not needing to match the hair color necessarily. You could have brown brows and blonde hair. That can still look good. You just have to wear it with confidence. Felicia. <laughs> yeah, we should make that a thing. Hashtag by Anastasia. <laughs> All right, so let me ask you a question. What is the next most important? eyes and the lips make the face. We really want to pay attention to those features because the rest of the face can look like nothing special. But the most important are these and these. That makes your face. It's like doing the math, but two and two together. So this is by Too Faced, it's Shadow Insurance Anti-Crease Eyeshadow Primer, and this is just a sample, probably have to buy more. Yeah, this is my first time using it, I normally just put on the eyeshadow and go, but this is a must if you want it to stay and really glow. really works. And I try to make my eyeshadow color that matches what I'm wearing. So we want to do that today. I'm just going to first dot it over your eyelids. And I like to go above here, below the brow, all over, just in case you want more color in the top. It never hurts to put more, but you don't want to put too much. And after I put that, I just tap it and blend it like I should. There we go. Good. Good. I have this e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. And we're going to 
going to choose a color today. Some of these colors show more than others. We'll see. Which color would you like? You can feel free and point with this. Okay, that one. Okay. I think that works with what you're wearing too. So. Getting this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush and I'm going to dip it in the color you asked me to. This is a really beautiful color, but I'm also going to blend it with a lighter matching color because typically I have Close your eyes while I apply this. Thank you. For the base coat, I always want to blend as much as possible. Really get in there in the crease. Honestly, I see almost little to no difference in the current makeup I wear versus the e.l.f. makeup. Maybe because I got so used to the makeup that I started wearing it really good. So maybe it'll just take me some time to start wearing this makeup. Rights arrangement palette if you're ever interested. And now that we've blended that on, you always need a good black eyeliner to complete the lids. This is by Makeup Forever. easier to apply versus a brush or it can get a little sloppy and smear it too much. I want to get more for the other eye. I'm going to be honest, eyeliner 
They seem to be doing a good job on you. Just needs a bit more correction. I'm always messing this part up. There we go. We are done with this. The worst part is now complete. Glass shape like so. And it just comes in the best packaging ever. Looks like a pink bullet. It feels like a pink bullet. <laughs> When you pay for top quality, you receive top quality. lips. This is by Auto Beauty. It's a lip contour. And this is in the color Trendsetter. This works on virtually anyone. to be a very uh, self-conscious trait in me, but now I learned to appreciate it and it looks really good on me. Um, but sometimes I like to line over here to make it appear even, so now they look equally as thick, but they're really not. But I'm wearing this along with the lip color. 
color I'm going to show you next. And you can hardly tell it looks like a part of my lips. But I try to make them look as natural as possible so it doesn't look like Huda Beauty or Huda Beauty or Huda 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 Beauty. I don't know. I think I need to go back to English courses. The final thing is this uh, new lip kit I got. It's runway ready lip palette assorted. And it comes with its own brush inside. You're basically painting the lips. And it comes in these six colors and has a mirror. <laughs> so, there are the colors. Okay. Which one would you like? You can just point to me. Or we can match your eyeshadow. You are ready to look your best. This is the final piece to the pie. This is it. This really makes the whole piece of the face come together. So it's so important to choose the correct color. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna blend it with the lip liner, but not too much. Okay. Still want to make it visible. And of course, you'll see why. Sometimes I find I need to do two or three layers of this to make it just right. It's a very thin product, it's very glossy. Just go. There you go. One more thing I need to do. There we go. I find that this part gets caked over, so I have to go up, just drag my finger up, down this cupid's bow, up, like that. So it as much as away the product. You look so amazing. Gorgeous, just gorgeous. I told you you look better than me. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is a masterpiece. A work of art, just brilliant. And I'm glad you're just as satisfied as I am. Thank you so much for coming by. I had a lot of fun with you today. Feel free to come back anytime you'd like. Get your face done by me for free. <laughs> Alright. See you soon. Thanks, Dave.